Okay, I'm going to show you the basics of running the EasyCab software. Basically the plus version, which is the hobby one. Okay, to get started, simply go up here to Files and select, in this case, Default Frame Cabinet and answer yes. Now, at this moment in time, we could press Enter and change the cabinet width. So say we want like 55 inches. Okay, all your dimensions are up here on the right, such as your dados, mortise, Mayan width, openings. There's a pretty long list in here. You find your rabbits in here, it's in all alphabetical order. Rail width, it's for all different parts of the cabinet. Style width, toe kick height, toe kick depth. Okay, so let's build this cabinet right here. Go up here to the cabinet tab. And to put in a drawer, simply click the drawer button. To put in a shelf, click the shelf button. To put in a door, click the door button. To section this cabinet off, add a mullion. Now to work on section B, just click it. And let's go back to setup over here real quick and zoom this up. Go back to the cabinet tab. On section B now, we can add, say, a drawer. Click another one. Click it again. Now we want to bank it. Click the bank button. If you click the bank button again, it'll take the next drawer with it. And again, then you have an even bank. To undo, go right here to editing, undo your operation, and then we have our completed cabinet just like that. Okay, so the program has this little automatic build feature. It kind of helps you out. Many people may not notice it. It's called Builder right here. Click it right here, and it's going to perform all the functions that I just did except that if you take off the messages and put the speed on fast we can now go down here and select um, the base sync cabinet it'll make that for us so let's click it and watch the action it sizes the cabinet it'll section it off it'll increase the center section put in a false drawer front and some doors and then it'll work on the end sections that's on the last section and it's done it's completed this cabinet so this is an actual sink cabinet if you drag your mouse on the screen we can look at it you can actually go over here and hit explode under views and we can look inside there it is a false drawer top there for your sink so let's put that back together Go to views, put it back together, and there you have it. You can program the different parts of the cabinet, like say clicking on a, a style, uh, and then if you just press enter on your keyboard, you can now change it to a two and a half inch style, as I did right there. So you can change the parts around. If you want to select a different type of grain of wood, you do it right here on the setup tab where it says grain we can select something else like say uh, chestnut it has quite a few selections in here Mexican Kabote if you want to work in a partition area this is how it's done you go to the cabinet tab you put in your partition and then at this point you can press the move up and if you press enter at this point you can set this opening it's at five inches right now now while this button is down if we go over and press drawers we can do features like this one two three and then if we put a mullion in the cabinet and section this into two sections now we have a cute little drawer pack right there um, it has features like open up the drawers look at the drawers 
to work in the area below you just unclick the partition make sure it's up and then if you put in a shelf it'll go below then you can put in your door if you wish you can simply undo the last two operations and go over here and put in some drawers and basically bank those and now you have this feature right here while we have the drawer boxes out we can change the material of this drawer box right here by going over here to the right on the build tab and select from drawer boxes list you could put up to six different items in here per grain so this is the grain of black ash and it has these different selections in it so we can select like birch ply okay so looking at the grain selections over here in easy cab this is our selection right now which is black ash so for black ash over on the right under materials right here we have your different thicknesses of your hardwoods and your plywoods these are your hardwoods these are your plies right here now you can add to this any other dimension of wood but you can't change the name black ash this is set for that say I want to change the right side of this cabinet to a different material basically this is how you do it you cannot change it in here you do it like this the easiest way is to click on the right side and then go up here and press this button to show all material and then go to the list and select what you want that piece of wood to be so if we go down here maybe we want it to be particle three quarter so we select that then we press wood now the side is changed to particle in easy cab it has the power to make multi-panel doors so let's check that out let's click a door into the cabinet if you go on the right over here and select doors you can have a one panel a two or a three panel door now if you go down to the bottom of your milling tab because milling is basically how you want it arranged or how you want to cut it and we can switch those to a vertical now if we go over here to the parts tab and down at the bottom of the list where it says raised door multi panels if you click that now you have a multi panel door now say you click on the rails or styles now press enter set that to one inch now those are one inch mullions and styles or whatever door rails and if we click in the mullion now that's over in the section of the cabinet and that's how you make a multi-panel door in easy cab so now let's say if we want these panels to be glass what we do now is we go over here to parts and we uncheck door panels A because that's in the A section and now we have glass for our doors the program has three different types of toe kicks to set the toe kick you go here to milling and then if you wish to have a detached type of toe kick check that checkbox right there what that gives you if you explode the drawing it's going to give you a little pedestal that it sits on if you select island you will get the toe kick inset all the way around the cabinet and it's a pedestal that it sits on okay the program can make rather complex cabinets which be like a video in itself because that could be about maybe three or four minutes of a video of tutoring on that but some of these cabinets like to give you an example if we go down here and pick this TV cabinet right here it can make some complex cabinets like this now to look at your openings you can always click this button on a setup tab show openings only and then you can see inside your cabinet and like that. For the most important feature, now you have your cabinet built, you want your cut list, you go up here to cut list, and you click on full cut list. And there you have all your parts to build your cabinet. You have your face frame, your cabinet parts, your base, your drawers, your boxes for the drawers, your door, your panels. You have your door face frames. If you put the price in here per wood, what it is in your area, it'll calculate the prices, the plywood total, the total materials, 
and then it'll give you the milling locations for your dados where you measure and you cut down to make your dados from so this tells you where to cut your dados if you're cutting them on a table saw manually so under your cut list you can cut just the face frame or the cabinet body the drawers or the doors so you can have one guy doing this job another guy doing this job simple example drawer cut list will give that to you right here there's your drawer cut list if you get tired looking at the same colors on the screen all the time you can change the skins in easy cab by going here on the setup tab to skin and then we have a nice brown color so you can change whatever you can program your own colors in there if you wish say you got your partition in you've moved it up you got a five inch opening you've put in your three drawers and you want to set that center drawer to 15 inches simply you do it like this you click on the face of it you're going to press enter on your keyboard you're going to set this to 15 then you're going to up here and you got to press that button to initialize it and there you have it check out the bank drawer feature again here for a moment so say we got a 24 inch cabinet and with here we want to put a bank of drawers but say we want basically you know this drawer to be a 7 so you just click on it press enter on your keyboard type 7 hit enter on your keyboard and there you have that now press the bank button once and then you have your bank drawers a 5, a 7 and a 12 you want to check them out you can press the open button and there you have it so I'm going to show you how to section off the cabinet and set a section to a certain size so we have our cabinet we basically go to the cabinet tab and we put in the mullions one two to make three sections now suppose I want section A some certain size we'll click on it first always now press enter on your keyboard say I want this 22 and 3 16 then we must enable it up here with this button set section opening size there's our section size the other two sections take the remaining opening width of whatever's left in the cabinet if you have questions that you want to direct to me about the software you can simply go right here to help and click on questions blog because the whole world sees this this is like a little web browser built into EasyCab and you can post your question right here by typing in and your name and email address I'll get back to you really quick the whole world sees what's going on here this is worldwide so that way everybody can see what we talk about now visit the website here at easycab.com and simply just click on the left at the top and you can select the table saw table saw type versions or CNC versions they're free downloads thank you